Hello everybody, I'm Dan. Welcome to my Java tutorial series. Throughout my tutorials I will teach you Java using just Notepad and the command prompt. The order in which my tutorials are organized on both my website at javacjava.com and my YouTube playlist is designed to maximize learning by building on concepts from prior tutorials. This tutorial will be about applying the final keyword to classes. Let's open up my website here at javacjava.com. I'm going to select the menu pop out and then select Java OOP Tutorials, which is my object oriented programming tutorials page. I'll scroll down here to final classes. So when the final keyword is applied to a class, the final class cannot be extended. In other words, a final class can never be the superclass of a subclass. A final class can be the subclass of a superclass, no problem there. When a class is marked final, all of its method are methods are implicitly final as well. In this tutorial, I will, re will reuse the source code from my final methods tutorial. I will explore the benefits and ramifications of marking the commission class final. Let's go ahead and come down here and highlight all this code here. Control C to copy or right click and select copy. Move the browser off screen. I've got a shortcut to the command prompt on my desktop, but if you don't, you can create one really quick new. Right click on your desktop, new shortcut, type in CMD, next finish. It's just that easy. Okay, let's type in Java C, press enter. You should see a whole bunch of stuff scroll by. If you don't see that, go ahead and go to my um, tutorial on installing the Java development kit. Make sure you get that installed and configured properly before continuing. Type in CLS to clear the screen, then CD space backslash. CD is short for change directory, backslash tells it to go to the root. I'm going to make a directory with the MD command, Java. I already have it, but if you don't, it'll go ahead and create it for you. Now I'm going to make another directory, and I'm going to call this um, Final Classes. And then I'm going to notepad a finalclasses.java. Finalclasses.java will be the name of our source code file, also known as our compilation unit. Let's paste all this stuff in here. And let's go ahead and save this out. So if you haven't watched my tutorial on uh, applying final to methods, I'd recommend you do that because I'm just going to kind of pick right back up where I'd left off here. I'm going to, first of all, undo everything that I did in here that we that we'll really need here to put it back to the way it was before discuss over a couple of things and why we don't want to even want to put the final in front of the class here okay we're going to save this and run it oh. compile it clear the screen that off. There we go. Okay, so Bob made 3275 commission on a sale of $100. Basically, we've got up here in the main method, we got a total price of $100. We did a new salesperson um, object to a type of to a reference variable person, and then assigned it the reference to a new instance of the salesperson object and we pass the constructor a string of Bob and total price being the hundred dollars salesperson down here was extending commission right ignore these comments because uh, those obviously don't apply and then we were calculating all of our commission here right all the way through that I'm not gonna go through everything on this but basically it would ultimately end up returning back 3275 32.75 percent so Bob made 32.75 commission on a sale of a hundred dollars so we realize that this particular method right here is super sensitive, right? That's the commission method. And it's very easy that when we're designing this class to you know, not even think about that someone may um, extend this class someday, right? And it, this will become the super class of a subclass. So if we come down here and we create this salesperson and we extend commission, we're all okay here right at the moment, but we do have the ability to override the calculate payout method there right so we could change this to 42.75 by overriding it and then when we recompile that and rerun it now we get for, Bob made 42.75 commission on sale of $100 that's not good so then in the <coughs> excuse me the methods applying final to methods here I talked about how we can apply final to this method and that will prevent this method from being overridden down here right 
So now what we're going to get is we're going to get an error when we try to compile this, right? Calculate payout double in salesperson cannot override calculate payout double in commission. Okay, so that was all good. Then we understood what the final method did in for, or the final keyword did the methods, and that's all great, right? So we can no longer do that. Um, however, that that didn't fix everything there, you know. That that'll fix that if we compile that, take that out, right? We're all good to go there. However, we still haven't made this really. Um, this still isn't really like bulletproof, even when adding that final in there, because we could still override the the get payout method here. It's not final, right? We could come down here and do a an add override down here. Let's put in the annotation that's optional but highly recommended and um, we could just put in like a, a double literal right here right and save this so we could do all kinds of screwing around with overriding payments and every overriding methods and everything like that so let's go ahead and save that and run it Bob made 134.76 commission on a sale of $100. Now we're really screwed up. Okay, so we don't, now we're like, oh man, I really don't want to do that. You know, there's just a, rather than worry about, you know, where your, your class might get hacked up later on, sometimes it's easier to just say, okay, this is a really important class commission here. And right off the bat, I don't want anyone to be able to um, extend it. So you could do that by just typing final putting the final keyword in front of the class declaration there and what that will do we'll just take this out right here right and then try to compile this we're still trying to extend commission now we're going to get another error here i'm going to clear the screen off clean that up a little bit okay error cannot inherit from final commission right so we can't even extend this anymore so now it's just like oh boy you know all right so you know, if we were to take out extends commission, we still got these calls, this still got this call to super in here where we're invoking this constructor up here and figuring it all out. So basically it just renders this whole class person almost useless. Where if we had done this in the first place, final, this would have never even been able to be created, this salesperson one here. So um, with that being said, applying the final to the uh, to the class declaration there we increase security but then in the trade-off there's always a trade-off or something so when we increase security um, we just completely annihilated inheritance so and reduced you know the object oriented functionality there so there's always a trade-off so we have to kind of rewrite this up here to in order for this to function right again so by marking a class final by marking a class final, right? That just eliminates its ability to be extended. We can still create an instance of that, of this class, right? So right up here, we'll just go, uh, we've got creating a reference variable pay that's a commission object type, right? And then we're assigning that to a reference of a new instance of commission and we're passing total price into its constructor there. And the total price, argument and I got my sales price parameter down here first thing I'm doing is setting the payout which is this local instance variable here the result of invoking calculate payout method here which just basically takes you know whatever our total price was times 0 0.3275 to set the payout and then we can um, later invoke the dot get payout method to simply return the payout it's a nice getter method or accessor method per se. So Bob made then plus our commission on the sale of total price. All right, so we go ahead and compile this and Java, and then we'll run it. And we get Bob made 3275 commission on a sale of $100. Okay, one other thing to note is that all methods when we mark this class final are implicitly marked final as well. If we, if we choose to just say, okay, well, uh, if this makes you feel better doing something like that and seeing something like that, so you remember, sure, go ahead and do it. It isn't going to affect the way it compiles and runs in any sort of way. But just know if you don't have them in there, 
that they are implicitly final. So um, I'm going to go ahead and move the close out of this, close out of this, and leave me with some final thoughts there. So marking a class final can ensure better security. However, the cost of doing so eliminates object-oriented inheritance functionality. There are many classes in the core Java libraries that are marked final. The string class, for example, is a well-known final class. That concludes this tutorial. Thanks for watching.